Hello everyone and welcome to Soul Stain Inc. My name is Beth and I am here today with some more books that I have completed. So we are on books 12 through 18, I believe. Let's just get into it. The first one I completed was Art Queen by Marcy Peschke. This is an adorable, you cannot see that. This is an adorable little book. I have the physical copy on the way for Elena's Christmas present, but uh, we read the ebook form and we just absolutely loved it. Five out of five stars. It's all about Kylie Jean joining the art club and meeting new friends and it's fabulous. The next book got a four out of five, and that is The Absent Author by Ron Roy. This is the first in the A to Z mystery series, and you'll see a lot of these on my reading updates for the foreseeable future. Also by Ron Roy was November Nights, which is part of the calendar mystery series. Since it was November, we read that one. We actually read November Night first, and then The Absent Author. They're very quick reads. We listen to the audiobooks on the way to school and back, and we can listen to about one a day. Next, I read For Everyone by Jason Reynolds, and this is a, another four-star. Um, this is a letter-slash-poem that he wrote, and it became a small book. Um... In fact, I think it was, yeah, it says originally performed at the Kennedy Center for the unveiling of the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial and then later performed as a tribute to Walter Dean Myers. Um, so it was a performance poem that got turned into a book. It's awesome. Um, the next book is also a four stars. And um, well, the next two books, three books, the next three books are all four stars. Uh, we read The Bald Bandit, which does not, for some reason, have a cover on Goodreads. And that is book two in the A to Z mystery series. And then we read The Canary Caper. So there's that. Both by Ron Roy. <coughs> and um, the three main characters, there are three third graders, Dink, Josh, and Ruth Rose that are best friends. They live right next to each other and they keep getting pulled into these little mysteries that they uh, usually solve over the course of a couple of days. And they're very cute, very simple, but great for early elementary chapter books. Uh, definitely recommend it if you are looking for an early elementary chapter book, uh, like first, second, third, fourth graders. Absolutely awesome. Very well written. A lot of fun. All right. Next, I realized that somehow, even though we've read it multiple times, I had never put Wayside School Gets a Little Stranger, which is book three in the Wayside School trilogy. I had never put that on my Goodreads. So now it's on there. I've read it um, three times since August. But we did read Wayside School Gets a Little Stranger, four out of five stars. It's a series of short stories following Mrs. Jules and her class on the 30th floor of Wayside School. Mrs. Jules is actually out for most of the book because she went to have a baby. And then finally, a five out of five to Peter H. Reynolds' uh, elementary picture book, The Word, The Word Collector. I own most of these books, but they're all at school because I'm sharing them with my students, by the way. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but the word collector is really awesome. It is about this little boy who is collecting words. And so Jerome just collects all of these words and he categorizes them and organizes them. And one day he trips and drops his albums and all these words kind of blow out, and land in different ways together. And he realizes the beauty of putting different types of words together and sharing them with your friends. And I just absolutely adored it and immediately walked down the hallway. I read it at school and I immediately walked down the hallway and handed it to one of my best friends and was like, you need to read this to your kids and turn around and walked out. 
which is actually not the first time I've done that. So she was just like, whatever you say, Tyree, and kept going. But yeah, I very much enjoyed that. So today is November the 18th. I have completed 18 books so far in November. Just cracking right along. I cannot believe that I've done that, but that's, it's whatever. Uh, they're really small audiobooks, children's books I'm reading with my daughter, but I'm still quite pleased with myself. Um, anyway, I will talk to you guys again soon. I'd love to hear what you've been reading. Uh, if you've read any of these books, let me know what you thought about them. If you want more in-depth reviews, let me know about that as well. I will talk to you guys again soon. Until next time, give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Have a fabulous week. Bye. Mm -hmm.